I welcome all of you on platform of Europedia Education where you are getting the detailed informations related to applications in various higher education courses in the reputed institutes in India and abroad like IITs, ISCs and NITs and triple IITs. So this particular video is related to the cutoffs of NITs. So we have observed a trend here like uh, uh, as I always tell you that cutoffs are not to be seen, previous years cutoffs are not to be seen. Why? Because there is a huge variation in cutoffs. And uh, number two, in case of NITs, so what we have observed in case of IICs, IITs, we have seen that cutoffs have gone down this year, low cutoffs have gone this year and uh, even lower than our expectation. Though we were expecting that cutoffs will be lesser, but it has gone even lower. So similar trend is expected in NITs also. But there is a small difference like NITs may normally interviews are not there unlike IITs where there are interviews and IITs have conducted interviews for MTech also, MS and PhDs are always there with interview. But NITs may interviews are not there but still keeping that thing also in mind the cutoffs will be lower. Second thing I want to tell you is like in NITs maximum students try to see the cutoffs of previous years and try to choose the uh, subject accordingly. In my opinion, you should not uh, take that as a criteria. First, cutoffs are not a criteria, you should not even focus on that. Because if you see the cutoffs, maybe you do not feel like applying or do not feel like giving that as, a, that as a preference. When the CCMT will start, you know, you have to provide a preference list. And that preference list is very very important because you get the course as per that preference list. And you need to know the placement situation in that NIT where you are applying the course. There are 5-6 top NITs in the south and the these NITs have you know placements also and these NITs have internship culture also. I interacted with hundreds of students of NITs and uh, those interactions are available. You can watch those interactions also of different NITs. And this year the interaction point was only about placement, that what is the placement going on. One common answer students gave was that uh, when you join NIT you should be prepared for placement in non-core fields because the best salaries are in that. When we talk about you know data science, you talk about artificial intelligence, you talk about IOTs, you talk about the new technical domains, mechatronics and also placements are very good in this. So you should be prepared for this, this placement number one. Number two, whenever a company visit the NIT campus, they will let students sit in the placement, non-core companies, they will let you sit in the placement irrespective of your department. That means if you have acquired the required skills for these jobs, for these companies, they will permit you. That means should we join a good course in Northern NIT where less companies come or should we join any course in those NITs where lot of companies come. That is the most crucial decision. Now what happens is when you give the choice, when you give the choice or list in CCMT, then this factor is very very important that which NIT which course should I give because your career eventually depends upon that your job will depend eventually on that lot of companies visiting the campus and you are getting opportunity to get into job and you are getting good job your PD is going to guide you only on the basis of one factor that is you are joining master's course to get a very good job good salary job good job for us is also high salary job and we keep that in mind approximately 15 lakh per annum that is the package which you can think from NITs. There are NITs, there are departments, you should accordingly fill the choice. And as I told you this year, yes, the cutoffs are expected to go down. And let me tell you CCMT is a long process, there are different rounds and then there is the, at the end there is a spot round. In the spot round, very less student go till the spot round. They do not take risk and before that only they deposit their fees somewhere and they eventually decide and before that COAP round also is there. 
and this stage becomes very very crucial because you know students are really in dissonance and confusion that should we leave iit bhu because if i don't leave iit bhu now my fees will go maybe 40000 30000 will go should i leave this course and should i wait for ccmt result to come or should i wait for spot round to come that is very very crucial decision no doubt mentors of your pda are going to help you in that stage we will advise you that you have to leave it or you are not to leave it and proceed forward and take this particular course eventually and you know there are winter admissions also there are ms courses in mtech courses in iit kanpur and many iits pop up in the winter also so you need to uh, follow this everything very meticulously so let me now summarize what this video was all about yes the trend shows that cutoffs are going to go down and joining particular course particular nit is a very crucial decision which iit we should leave which nit we should pick up whether i should go to spot round should i leave this option should i take the risk and how much risk should i take these are the very very important decisions and you can entrust the mentors of your pda in your this particular journey so let's proceed forward and make a right decision for us otherwise you know it may cost you big because eventually it is all about your career and you have to uh, eventually get a good job from these kind of courses all the very best keep watching your pd education thank you